In this Content Fries review, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about Content Fries. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will provide a discounted link so you can get your money's worth. Now, Content Fries is a software that allows you to cut down longer form videos and edit them into smaller, shorter videos for social media. You click on this icon here and takes you to Potatoes, Fries, Quotes, Media Items, Fry Boxes. Potatoes shows you the recent videos you've already made that's been shortened down social media. You go to Fries, and that essentially shows you the videos you're currently editing. Or you can start a new video with Start Wizard over there. Quotes takes you to the quote generator where you can create your own quotes essentially to post on social media or create your own quote photos. So I've just clicked on add photo, add quote pack. Here you can see you can generate all the quotes you want. Famous quotes, inspirational wisdom, different kind of quotes for different topics you require. You can add your own quote ideas too if you wished. You can include random backgrounds and upload your own photos. Uploading photos here, click on my device. Here I can use a wolf photo right there. So essentially this could be utilized as a background for one of the photos, I'd, one of the quotes I'd like to use. So here you can generate and we've generated our quotes for ourselves. You can use the quote, keep the quote you, you have, or edit it yourself. Then you can mess around with the effects of the text, the quotes that are provided on your photos. Here we have different options we can use. We'll go back to our dashboard. Here we have menu items. Many items are essentially the social media platforms that you would like to design your videos for or cater to. I've clicked Instagram, click it. The fry boxes are the templates we can utilize for those social media platforms. So I've already made one myself. Here we can see a nice Instagram template. We've got the captions display there, the headlines, the options below, and the video will go where that image is. So we'll go back to the menu. It's taking us to fries itself. Here we can start our own project with Start a Wizard. You have two options, the trimmer and the editor. The trimmer allows you to post all your long videos and cut them down. The editor allows you to edit the short form videos. So we've clicked upload and choose your file to upload from your device. I will choose a small short film I've created. We'll let it upload. We'll go to finish and it'll take us to an encoding page. We go underneath here and we highlight which bits we want. I've chosen to highlight the end of the film over here. So this will be the short clip that will be shown on social media. Go straight back to the fries page and we see two videos. I've already made one myself, but we have one here, the one we'll use. So if you click on the picture of the video, it'll take you to the editing here. You can edit the captions, the, the video or the headline itself. Click the headline. Now we'll type into the box whatever headline we want that introduce viewers to what the video is about. You want to escape a horror movie. That's the context of this video. I've made it caps. We can mess with the colors of the text and the font size itself, even the line height below, standard things that allow you to edit text. We can also mess with the backdrop of the headline as well. Let's make the backdrop pink. Then go below and click on the progress indicator. We can't see it right now. I've made it pink. We'll play the video so the progress indicator is clear. So there. We've made it already pink. So you can see options to mess around with the progress indicator. You can make it really high or really, really small. Top bottom is top right now, which is nice. Mess with the custom position if we wish to and the shadow blur. The background itself of the full on progress bar, we can make that pink too, but I'm going to keep it white as it's clearer to see the progress of the video. Then you go below, go to the captions and there subtitles and tr transcripts will be provided of your video. This video is a silent one, so there are no transcripts or captions available. But if they were, they'd appear there. And once again, you can mess with them all the ways you could with the title. The backdrop, make that pink, make it match. 
I catch it again, text being black itself. Now you can edit the captions themselves. So if a caption was inaccurate, you can type whatever you want. But I'm typing my own, just to show you that you can edit your own captions. The video, once again, you can mess around with it. If you wanted to, it's fine the way it is, so we don't need to do anything. Background itself, whatever color you wish. I like my pink, so that's fine. We can make it red if we wanted to, or pink. That's the background reflected if the video didn't take up the entire page. Same with the audio as well. Commence the audio background. Make sure that is low enough if it's too loud. Upload the audio file yourself. Go to presets. And here you have transcripts presets that are really cool. You have different graphics for the different kinds of transcripts. So if there were dialogue in your video, you can use this one and it will appear like that onto your screen. These are pretty cool. We'll apply that one. So that's user transcripts I've written, but if you had dialogue, it would appear there with this nice graphic for it, but we don't need that. So we'll exit it. We can import your own subtitles as well. If you already had them pre-made, you can go to the options below as well. So let's click templates. We already have our nice templates ourselves, but if we wanted to see different options, we have variety over here that are really eye catching too. Have video injections as well if we wanted to add those sort of things to our videos and elements so you can add any element to your video if it fitted what you were trying to make so let me just make that circle yellow so it's clear and then I can move that with position settings just move it horizontally or vertically to place it wherever we feel a circle would be best in whatever kind of video we have made it's been saved naturally for us Thus, we're going to go back to the dashboard and they're all here laid out and waiting for us, essentially. So you can see in potatoes, they're already there. So it shows us what we've made already. So now you can also have your team, manage your team. So you're a team on your own so far, but you can have other people add to this software as well. Invite them by email. They could be editors, viewers or admins. You pretty much allow them to come here and do what you've done and have a whole team. You can see your transcript analytics here and you can look at your account here and all your information. So that is essentially what Content Fries does. I think Content Fries is a very, very advanced way of trimming down your longer form videos. It provides you a bunch of options, which I think is really, really nice. Although it can lack some intuition at times. Sometimes you really need to go digging and searching for certain kinds of feature to utilize. But once you do find those features, they're really, really helpful. They're really, really advanced. They're really, really, really fun to, to mess around with as well. The software has a fun layout. It's colorful. It's nice to look at. It's got a good humor to it with the potatoes, fries, the mini boxes. It's, it's a nice creative kind of software to edit your videos. If you enjoyed watching, leave a comment below and I'll leave that discounted link as I previously mentioned. Thanks.